Waste Management, How Much Do You Know? by Jasmine, Annika, and Lindsay. What do you think waste management is? Feel free to pause the video. What is waste management? The dictionary's definition states that it is the process involved with dealing with the waste of humans and organisms, including minimalization, handling, processing, storage, recycling, transport, and final disposal. However, our definition is that waste management is managing all waste from food, trash, and recyclable items. This is important because it lessens the amount of items that are sent to the landfill. It takes up space and some items just don't decompose. Landfills can potentially damage the ecosystem, which is why we try to minimize this. Now you've heard all the definitions. Does that differ from what you said in the beginning? What do you think recycling is? Feel free to pause the video so your troop can answer. Dictionary's definition. To treat or process as to make suitable for reuse. To alter or adapt for new use without changing the essential form or nature of. To use again in the original form or with minimal alteration. To cause to pass through a cycle again. To repeat a process from the beginning. To undergo reuse or renewal. Be subject to or suitable for further use, activity, etc. The act or process of recycling. Our definition, the process of turning used items into new products to use again. This process makes much more use of the limited resources on Earth. Our preservation of the world's resources makes the world healthier. Now that you've heard the dictionary's definition and our definition of recycling, what is yours? Now it is time to play a sorting game. We are doing this to see how well you know how to sort different items. The rules are very simple. We will separate you all into two teams. Each team will have about 10 items to sort in 90 seconds. This will be played in a relay style, so one person will take an item, run up to the three bins, recycling, compost, garbage, and choose which one they think the item goes into. After, they run back to their team and the next member can go when they receive a high five. The team that finishes the fastest with more correct items sorted wins. The recommended materials for the sorting game includes fruits with produce stickers, styrofoam cup, food soiled paper plates, bowls and cups, printer paper, cereal box, candy wrappers, clean plastic clamshell box, glass bottles, cardboard boxes, napkins, plastic utensils, worn out sheets and clothes, food soiled plastic clamshell box, juice and other liquids, and soda cans. These are only recommended materials for the sorting game, and you do not need all of these materials to play the game. These are the answers for the sorting game. Please press pause to check your answers. Did you get them all right? How should things be sorted? Now that you've played the game, you should have some knowledge on how to correctly sort different items. We will now go more in depth of the specifics. What can be recycled? Interesting facts. Bottle caps can be recycled if attached to the bottle. The pull tabs of cans must be stuffed inside the container in order to be recycled. Bring Ziploc and plastic grocery bags back to the grocery store. If that's not possible, please put them in the trash. Recycling guidelines are original to the city and different places differ in their preferences. You should check the guidelines of the city when recycling at home or outside. There are many mistakes made when recycling. Please make sure to remove all liquids from cans, bottles, and etc. when recycling. Plastic utensils and food wrappers do not go into the recycle. Clean out bottles to recycle. Glass go into the recycling if it's clean. What can be composted? Interesting facts. All things that used to be living are compostable. Paper cups are only compostable if they are made of wax or paper. Paper plates should go into the compost as well. However, if the paper plate is coated or appears to look shiny, it should not be placed in the compost. The plastic coat contaminates the compost. Common mistakes. 
Food wrappers do not go into the compost. Just because there is food left in it does not mean it belongs there. Produce stickers on food such as bananas and apples should be taken off before thrown in into the compost. Dirty paper towels, napkins, and plates can all be thrown into the compost. What can go in the garbage? Interesting facts include everything that does not go to the recycling and compost is garbage. Things that are placed in the garbage goes to the landfills. Common mistakes include food does not go into the garbage and please take time to sort out food from its wrappers and containers. Clean out containers that go into the garbage of food and put the food in the compost and the container into the garbage. What is a landfill? You may think a landfill looks like the picture on the left, however, ours looks like the picture on the right. At Cedar Hills Landfill, they bury the trash underground. The way that the landfills are built causes the items buried there to not be exposed to oxygen, which leads them to not decomposing. Cedar Hills will only last us until 2030. After that, we will have to find somewhere else to put our garbage. These are diagrams of a modern landfill and the number of landfills in the United States. You can see that there are a bunch of landfills in each state of the United States. On the left is a picture. This can be our future without good waste management. Not only do landfills take up a lot of space, but they also have a possibility of leaking. On the right, it shows the leakage of Texas landfills in 2013. The leakage can flow into rivers and negatively affect the wildlife and whatever that drinks out of it. It's now time for our decomposition game. Please make a chart to align the items with how long it takes for them to decompose. The truth of decomposition. Some items do not decompose in your lifetime. These are the answers to the game. We visited the Cascade Recycling Center and these are some of the pictures we took. The machinery shown in the pictures thought the contents for recyclable items. What steps do you think are in the recycling process? These are the steps in the recycling process. Number one, pre-sorter slash quality control. Employees dispose unwanted items by hand from the conveyor belt. Number two, cardboard. With its stiff build and light weight, cardboard is able to surf across the top of the blades while other items fall into the gaps between them. Cascade Recycling Center sorts 14,400 tons every year. Number three, paper slash newspaper. The same concept as cardboard except with smaller blades. Cascade Recycling Center sorts 50,000 tons of newspaper and 27,000 tons of paper every year. Number four, glass. Its breakable quality allows the system to crush and vacuum them. Cascade Recycling Center sorts 20,000 tons of glass every year. Number five, metals, sorted with magnets. Number six, plastics. Use optical sorter with 98% accuracy and air to blow the lightweight plastics across a gap while other materials fall into it. The Cascade Recycling Center sorts 3,200 tons of plastic a year. The following video shows a recycling process at Cascade Recycling Center. Today, as natural resources become scarcer and manufacturing costs rise, recycling is more important than ever. Everyone wants to save the planet, but what's the best way to do it? The three things that determine the success of a recycling operation are its collection, processing, and marketing of the materials. Waste management makes recycling collection easy with single stream recycling. Rather than separating recyclables by type, you can throw paper, glass, metal, and plastics all in one convenient wheeled cart. Then just roll the cart to the curb. It's simple, easy, and convenient. Let's take a look at what happens after the carts are placed at the curb. First, we empty the carts into collection vehicles and take the material to our Cascade Recycling Center, a state-of-the-art single-stream processing facility located in Woodenville, Washington. Each truck is weighed and we record where the material came from. The trucks drive into the facility and empty the recyclables onto the tipping floor. Once the recyclables are unloaded, they're ready for processing. Let's follow along. The first conveyor takes the material to the pre-sort area. Here the sorters remove scrap metal and any obvious contamination. Next stop, the cardboard disc screen hopper. Large steel discs spin through the material. The cardboard surfs over the top of the spinning disc while the rest of the material drops into a conveyor below. The cardboard falls into a storage area for baling. After the cardboard comes out, we separate the newspaper using smaller spinning discs. The newspaper, including all the normal stuff in your paper like the advertising inserts, tumble onto a conveyor up to a manual sort line. 
All types of paper are picked from the line. They fall into bunkers below. Once the bunkers are filled, the paper is fed into the baler, which compresses the material and ties it automatically. So now we pulled off cardboard and newspaper. What's left is mixed fiber and rigid containers. Mixed fiber is stuff like cereal boxes, junk mail, and magazines. It's separated from the rigid containers by, you guessed it, another set of rotating disc screens. The mixed paper goes onto a conveyor belt up to the manual sort line. Now it's time to sort out the jumble of containers. First step is to separate the glass and break it up for better processing and more efficient transportation. Our glass is really clean. How do we do it? Believe it or not, we vacuum the broken glass to get as much of the paper as possible out of the mix. The crushed clean glass is transferred by conveyor to an outside storage area. Back to the mixed container line. Next up, a magnet removes the steel cans as they pass by. Then onto a paper magnet, a belt with small holes in it, and air suction on the backside. Two-dimensional objects like paper stick to the magnet, while three-dimensional objects made of plastic and metal roll back to another pathway of conveyor belts. This technology helps us recover any extra paper that our rolling discs miss. We're not finished yet. It's time for our optical sorter to work its magic. Similar to a human eye, but even more powerful, an optical sorter uses a laser to recognize certain types of plastic. Air ducts under the belt then shoot the identified plastic to its own bunker. The optical sorter can detect differences in a plastic's container size, texture, and color, greatly enhancing the recyclability of all plastics. We programmed our optical sorter to identify PET, or plastic water bottles. People manually sort the remaining recyclable plastics, including natural HDPE, like milk jugs, and colored HDPE, like detergent bottles. The separated plastics fall into bunkers below the sort line. Once the bunkers are filled, they flow onto conveyors and into the balers. The conveyor moves the remaining materials across an eddy current separator, where a magnetic field of reverse polarity pops the aluminum cans across a diverter into a storage bunker for baling. Down below the sort lines, the balers are busy. All of the different types of bales, newspapers, cardboard, steel cans, and plastics, are separately stored and then loaded onto shipping trailers. These containers go to processing plants where the recyclables are made into new products. The end users have lots of rules to keep the quality standards high on the baled materials, so we work hard to remove as much contamination as possible during our process. That's important to customers. Our municipalities know they get the highest diversion possible because of our outstanding processing and commodity marketing success. Waste management has well-developed relationships with various end markets. This means the recyclables don't sit around in storage. They're quickly on their way to becoming new products. Just about everything that comes into Cascade Recycling Center goes out for a second life. It's a continuous loop of sustainability and just another way waste management helps everyone think green. Thank you for listening to our presentation.